I remember my first brain map a few years back and it was uh, similar to your stepdad, like what I was looking for. I needed, I have 10 million things on my plate. Exactly. I'm trying to stay focused. Mm -hmm. And what I found myself was, uh, and I feel like I'm, I'm a high performer, but I would, I would lose my focus on a task. And for me, like I need to be focused for like an hour or two hours on a task at time and then not let this thing um, distract me. Um, so, and, and I think we're all in that, in that space now because we all have our phones and, and I think the attention span is like two and a half seconds yeah. or whatever it is. So in a, in a lot of ways, we have to train ourselves to do that. And my, I'm, I might not, I won't, I don't want to quote him, but he saw my brain map and he was like, look, these spark plugs are like over, they're overgoing. Mm -hmm. Like they're, you have too much activity here mm -hmm. and you don't have enough activity here. So if he, he made the uh, analogy to like my body, if one muscle's overactive and one's not active enough, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have an orthopedic problem. Similar thing in your brain. If, you, if there's overactivity here and not enough activity here, you're gonna have some type of dysregulation. So I, me being in this side of the field, that made sense to me. So you know, I think it's really, really interesting what you guys do and it's, it's quite powerful.